All right, today I want to talk about a little topic on clutching again. I don't think I've ever covered this before in a video that I've gotten several calls, several emails, especially with our um, Hunter Works uh, Fresh Start Systems finally being back in stock and we've been kicking those out left and right. And this time of year, people are buying a lot of clutch kits, et cetera, uh, get ready for the riding season. So elevation and clutching, how does uh, elevation affect clutching? As a general rule, the higher you go up in elevation, especially about 4,500 feet, uh, you start losing engine output due to less oxygen in the air, which puts less uh, horsepower output, you lose RPM. And then a clutch kit's job, if you just look at the settings, you'll see that it ends up with a lighter flyweight. weight. That is to compensate for this loss in RPM, slows the shift out down, brings engine RPM back up, and helps you uh, get back some of your lost performance due to elevation. Now, the turbo models are not nearly as affected by elevation as non-aspirated, uh, regular aspirated, whatever they call it, but as non-turbo models are. Now, turbo models pushing that air in there and they're way less affected by it. Um, the one caveat to this is, is that just keep in mind that HunterWorks tries so hard not to have tunnel vision. I, I know a lot of our competitors go, oh, 32 inch tires, you need this. Well, they, they forget, well, what are, you, what are you doing with it? And so the phone call I had just this morning made me go ahead. It was kind of the uh, straw that broke the camel's back. Let's go get this video done. So this guy had a rocks and trails. Uh, he was buying a HunterWorks start fresh system and he, he did a lot of slow riding at higher elevations okay one at rocks and trails geared lower that comes into play uh, he drives slow and he's at high elevation the kits always assume uh, that you are trying to achieve maximum performance get rpm exactly right where you can get from point a to point b quick as you can etc etc now enter in what what he's doing he's got a lower geared machine and he rides slow well, gearing uh, can affect the way you clutch. As a general rule, the lower the gear, the more, more weight in the fly weight because you're taking load off the clutch and you need to um, add a little weight to the fly weights to help compensate for that. So that was a piece of his puzzle. The next part is he's, he's using low a lot and he needs belt grip, not A to B performance. So I told him, to follow the stock tire setup in the zero to 3,000 feet elevation range. And he's going to be higher up. You go, what the crap? Well, listen to what I just said. He's got a rocks and trails and he's going slow. Okay. So some of these specialty setups, if you will, where you got a unique situation, and especially if you're buying from us, you know, Dalton Kit or Start, work, uh, start Fresh, whatever. You can always email me, toddhunterworks.com. We absolutely have to talk on the phone, which is hard these days. We will. But at the end of the day, I just simply wanted you to know how elevation uh, affects clutching. Okay. Uh, best belts on the planet. Uh, check them out. Check out our other YouTube channel called HunterWorks Outdoors, our other website. We've got a few uh, things over there, sprayer, spreaders. Uh, you name it. There's other, other things that are related to game management, land management. Uh, you can use UTV on tractors, etc. So check that out. Got any questions about this? Thoughtathunderworks.com. Thanks.